they're human tippy earthlings, whoever you are, or wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushker, and this is the Charioteer. It is a tier 8 British TD, fresh to the world with patch 6.01. It's actually a very, very interesting vehicle, and it's a vehicle that I I think, for, for me, it's the best tank in the new light. And... I feel pretty disappointed in the tier 7. I'll break that down in the future. But this tank is basically a, a sense 7 and 1, but at tier 8. And, and a TV. A, t, a TV. A TD. It's got the same kind of gun as the uh, as the 7 and 1. It's a 105mm L7. Uh, it's called the L7A1 on the sense 7 and 1. It's called the AT gun L7 on this particular beast and this is a common characteristic of british lines they often share the guns and just change one letter or something like the other british td line is very much the same as a lot of the guns in the british heavy line what the charioteer has going for it is very good mobility an excellent gun that's quite different to the other tds in its tier it's a 350 base alpha gun but it still pumps out nearly 3300 dpm with that gun and that's at tier 8, which is good. Uh, and 245 millimeters of AP pen on it, or APCR if we're being uh, serious about it. But you're going to note there, I didn't get spotted. And that's the real key for this tank, is its camo is insane. Look at me, I'm not getting spotted. I'm firing, like obviously that light tank was close enough, but I'm firing Hesh up at that ridge line at about 200 meters, and I'm just not getting spotted. And there's a few reasons for that, and I'll break those down as we progress. The gun is 0.328, uh, sorry, 0.326 dispersion, which isn't amazing, but it's solid enough that you can get the job done. Do you see how that Tiger 2 didn't see me there either? And I'm still unspotted moving around until that guy starts pushing down on my right-hand side. The camo range on this thing is pretty scary. Um... The negative on this tank is the armor. It's it's negligible. It really doesn't have any armor at all. 63 millimeters on the front of the hull, 46 on the sides, and 38 in the rear, which is just horrible. Uh, and your turret, in fact, is even worse. 30 millimeters on the front, 25 on the sides, and 30 on the rear. What you do uh, have is gun depression, which means you know you can get a lot of shots off. 10 degrees of gun depression uh, and 12 degrees of elevation, but it's currently in a tier where it suffers a lot from the tanks that it plays against. Uh, namely, the WZ-121 FT. I've been playing that, and that might be just because it was on sale recently. But at the moment, I'm either getting carried by that tank or getting pulverized by that tank. And it's no real surprise that that tank is not in this replay particularly. Because, like, every game I was in, it, it tended to just do very, very well against me. Um, I'm going to show you some crazy numbers right now. Uh, something that will probably knock your socks right off. And that's concealment numbers for light tanks, like the RU251. And that's that's the mouse right there. So you can see it's 26 base concealment while stationary. These are light tanks now. 52, 55 while moving and stationary. RU251s and batch hats. And these very, very good camo tanks, you can see the light same while stationary is moving. Look at the charioteer. 50 while moving, which is very, very similar to those lights, but 70 while stationary. And of course, I'm running a camo net on it, but still, that is why a lot of the time, even when firing, I've got a 17 camo rating, which is nearly as good as a mouse while it's wicked stationary. Um, that is why a lot of the time I'm firing and I'm not getting spotted. And if you can introduce a bit of brush to that so that you're actually behind cover when you fire, you're going to be able to pull off some ridiculously close range shooting without actually being spotted. And it took me a while to get used to this because what, what happened to me many times is I'd fire and then I'd start running away. I'd be backing up and I just wouldn't be spotted. And I missed some shots and that kind of cost me some games, which was pretty weird. Um, my win rate in this tank is the worst of any of the tanks that are of the new TD line. And I think that has a little bit to do with the fact that the... Patch days just weird, hey. Patch patch week, patch days are weird. You get so many uh, people playing the game who are just trying out new lines and trying out new vehicles. And especially at the moment with some of the most OP powered, overpowered pay-to-win tanks we've seen in Blitz um, surfacing. It's 
made for some very, very odd patch day kind of shenanigans. I've had some really, really random teams and not had some of the results that I would have expected with a tank like this. But I think if you were playing this one particularly in combination with a good heavy tank, um, you could do a whole lot of cool things. It's a very, very good tank in terms of mobility, like all these Brit TDs seem to be. Uh, you're able to get about 37 degrees of hull traverse on this and about 18 degrees of turret traverse. And I understand why that turret traverse is lower than some would expect. It's because if it was able to traverse too quickly, it would just be too good. Um, if it was able to COD, it would just be too freaking good. Now you've got Hesh, and of course Hesh giveth and Hesh taketh away. At times Hesh doesn't work, and at other times it does. It doesn't roll like normal HE either. It doesn't splash like normal HE, and it is only 105mm HE. So that goes a long way towards explaining why a lot of the times you'll be doing, you know, bounces and, and stuff like that. The actual speed... Your average speed is 37, but your top speed is 48. And if you're running the engine boost like I am here, then you can really, really move this tank along very, very quickly. You can see me climbing up very fast there. I just wanted to get across that gap. And that's really what you're using the engine boost for is to ensure that you don't get smashed when you know, you're in those tight, really tight situations. And you've got to play this like a stick and move tank there's no way around it it is it is not a tank that you can really rely on it to bounce any shots you can see that conway there uh it's it's all it's all penable like it's literally just a whole ass of pen you're gonna pen that tank every single time and there's the lever mr level lever uh he's obviously i mean that's that's just the luck of the draw there but you do have good pen on the gun for me, I like tanks that are different. Um, I find this tank to be very, very cool as a TD. With a turret, uh, with a lot of mobility, with no armor, with hash rounds, with really, really good um, concealment. It makes it interesting. It, I don't know if it makes it super strong, but it is a lot of fun. And I think it would be a tank that would... If you put it in platoon, it would be more effective than a lot of tanks. Uh, and it, it's a tank that I think would gain a hell of a lot from being in platoon. Also, watch this. This is really, really cool. Watch how fast this thing moves. When And I'm trying to get back so the IS-8 has to worry about me uh, with his gun depression. He's only got five degrees. Here we go. Drop the hammer and look at the charioteer go. We might have screwed that shot up, but look how quickly it just accelerates to 50 kilometers an hour. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to get done here. Fair enough. Can't win them all. But it's a testament to the value of the tank that it was able to bleed through a lot of that IS-8, uh, despite the fact that he just pushed up. And that's something you're going to struggle with. If you just get pushed on in this vehicle, there's nothing you can do about it. They're going to, they're going to wreck you. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Just going to uh, cut to the chase there so you don't have to watch the end of it. We uh, we did pretty well there. 3K mastery. Not massive, and we did lose cash, but I fire a lot of hash. I love hash. Love the hash. Uh, look after yourselves, and as always, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.